On this episode of Anything Goes Hokkaido, Delena and Shinya take you on a special, fun journey, just the two of them, to talk about local Hokkaido news and also government incentives to help boost the economy. For some strange reason or technical difficulty, my voice actually sounds a lot like an anime character for this whole episode, so sit back and enjoy that as much as you can. We thank you so much for listening and watching the show and hope to continue improving the quality even as I edit this late, late at night on Sundays before putting it up on Mondays. You guys are awesome, and let's get into the show. Ooh, drive in Hanabi. I don't know anything about this site except my friend told me about it. Well, anyway. Anyway, are we recording? Hello, guys. Yes. Welcome to Anything Goes Hokkaido podcast.、Uh, today, just the two of us going through a few things about Hokkaido, a few news topics, I would say,、uh, specifically to Hokkaido and Japan. So, firstly, we were just talking about、uh, some crowdfunding restaurants and events, if that's correct. Yeah. Okay, I believe so, it is.、Uh, if I just click. Share screen. Yes,、I、we are operating on Zoom today. So this should be fun. Okay, yes, awesome.、Uh, All right. This is the so act this now. Is,、uh, mm. Act now crowdfunding that is being. I heard, and I could be completely wrong, but I heard that Support City is involved with this. However, what I do know is that this is a crowdfunding place for places in Sapporo.、Uh, if you want to spend some amount of money supporting them now, then when you go into the shop, you can get a voucher for more money than you spend. Interesting.、Uh... Um, yes. So it looks like they've got a lot of things going on, but there's one shop in particular we'd like to highlight. Which is、uh, Kizuna Coffee. Can we get back to that page? Yes, we're on it.、Uh, Kizuna. There we are. Kizuna Coffee. If you see there, they really make their coffee in a nice, unique way.、Uh, and they have delicious food. I know this because I've eaten them many times and、uh, frequent the place. It's on my way to and from certain jobs. And、uh, in fact, I ate there this week. Very delicious chicken, mushroom, and herb saute with rice and soup as a set. And you can get a drink with that for about 1,100 yen. Full meal. It's really great. And、uh, this deal here, you can spend 1,000 yen as a crowdfunding supporter. And I believe you can get a 1,300 yen voucher when you go into the shop, which is well enough for a good meal and possibly dessert. Nice.、So、have you ever been here or heard of this place, Shinya? I don't really go to、I'm... cafes, honestly. You don't?、There's、okay. Only a few cafes that I go to, but only when I'm like in the area, I guess.、Mm. Where is Kizuna Coffee?、Uh, that is actually a really great question because I always drive there. Uh, so, it would be challenging for me to tell you off the top、Because、of my head. Because if it's not in the city, I would have no idea. <laughs>、uh, no, it is. It is. Actually, do you know Ishiyama Dori? Yeah.、Um, yeah, so it's right off there and near.、Hmm. Like, whenever I'm coming from Maruyama area, I drive right past this yeah,、uh, it's really a bit close to Ishiyama Dori. <laughs> Maybe a bit far for you, but it's kind of central location. So, we'll, we'll put up some. Map information and things in the comment section of the podcast.、Yeah. Uh, so, for those of you who are local, please check it out. They opened in 2018, September, and、uh, the business was going really well until coronavirus hit.、Uh, you will be happy to know, I think, I went in this week and they have plastic partitions up between all of the tables and also the counters. So, you really can eat in pandemic <laughs> safety. <laughs> Uh, it's still a nice atmosphere. They play classical music and it's got a very elevated feel to it. Very classy.、Mm. Uh, but yes, there is plastic up right now to keep everybody safe. 
So I can recommend this is a safe place to go enjoy a nice home cooked meal. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then、right、other,、so. other projects in Hokkaido, especially the Hanabi projects,、mm-hmm. uh, it's good to go to if it's going. Drive in Hanabi sounds really nice.、Uh, I would、I'm, like to go to、oh, that one. I heard about that. Me too. Is it still operating? Yeah, I heard it was operating.、I've, yeah, August 23rd. And they've almost, they've almost reached their goal. 309 people at this time、um, I mean, are participating. For the... It's August 23rd on Sunday. Yeah. Okay, wow. Where is this?、Uh, Su- ah! Is this t a k i n g about Suzuki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is at the Suzuki. Maybe、oh. I mentioned before. Was it you? Somebody mentioned it recently. Yeah, I was really keen I, to learn about it. So, this is awesome. Yeah.、Uh, yeah, I love Takino Suzuran Park. And、um, to my knowledge, it's still closed right now. But、okay. this looks like they're going to open it up. Of course, they had bears、um, sighted there recently. <laughs> so,、Usual. anytime they, they have a bear <laughs> sighting, but anytime they have a bear sighting for that park, they close down until they get、okay. safe again. Um, I saw on the、yeah. website, you know, like their live cam footage, they had a couple of bears in the、uh, camping area. So that kind of put Do I have background sound, by the, the way?、There. I'm not really is any, sure. Is、um, there any background noise? The I kind of、like、hear something. <laughs> I hear something, but nothing that's particularly annoying or bothersome to me. Anyway, yeah,、mm. but getting back to places that are starting to open now, I think a lot of hotels, for example, Rusutsu is back open,、uh, Shiroi Koibito、oh. is back open this month,、uh, nice. my old hotel, Kiroro, is back open this month as well. So,、uh, starting to、okay. reopen again t- for quite a few places for summer.、Um, yeah. Going camping next week as well. Uh, I'm actually not sure where I'm going. <laughs> oh, really? But,、uh, uh, I think I'm we pretty can sure it's Shikotsuko, un- but. Oh, yeah.、Uh, that's where I want to go to. I'm pretty sure it's Shikotsuko,、yeah. but、uh, how do I unshare? <laughs> <laughs>、uh, your share screen. Oh,、uh, yeah. There, you go. <laughs> there we go.、Uh, so, how do you get to Shikotsu? Like. Are you going to rent a car? Drive. Yeah, rent a car. Rent a car. Dri- okay. Drive. Yeah, that's, I that it's is like, an option. I don't know the way, but、I'm, we just drive. <laughs> well, if you're not driving, there are buses, I believe. No,、And、not with all that gear. Of course, you are the crazy, crazy cyclist. But not with that gear. Not with that. that with <laughs> not with a full m a n t e n Not with a four、yeah. man tent, maybe if it's by myself with a sleeping bag, maybe, but a four man tent,、hmm. not a good idea. So, have you ever been camping at Lake Shikotsu before? I've never been camping in Japan. Are you kidding? No, no, no. This is、uh, only my second summer that I've been, I guess, free in Japan.、Um, mm-hmm. To be honest, actually. From this month, I think from the 13th of this month is when I started being a host last year. Oh, okay. It was like the 13th or the 15th.、Wow. So、uh, from then、lies. on, I, yeah, from then on, I was pretty much working every weekend. So I never had the chance、right. to、so、go camping. So that means that we haven't even known each other a full year yet because I believe you were already. You were yeah, about to start th- working at the host club. It hadn't quite opened yet, I think.、Um, so, when, when I first... started, it was open for about two months, one and a half months.、Um, okay, okay. But when I sent out the message、uh, for people to come, I think it was a few months later.、Uh, mm. It might have been in August or September. Right. That kind of sounds、uh, intriguing. I didn't go, for anyone who's curious. <laughs> I did not go to the host club. I just、um, became friends with Shinya because I thought he sounded very interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Although, lots, of people, had、nice、question, lots just... of people had questions, but、uh, not many people went、uh, to the host、mm-hmm. club. Of course,、uh, I understand people's curiosity, but 
uh, it's like a nighttime thing, and of, of course, it's just for girls, you know. So right. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I work my almost every night, so. And even my club didn't ex- didn't really accept old people. So if old Excuse women. Excuse me. Con- are you trying to say something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, you'd have been fine. But for uh, you better believe very it. old women who <laughs> ha- had interests, uh, I had to uh, nicely decline because I just didn't oh. think they would be accepted into the club. <laughs> Unless if they had a shit it's ton of money, ageism. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Ageism. Nah, wow. Can't can't get your way in this world. I suppose. Yeah. Unless you have a lot of money. Anyway, well, uh, just uh, going camping. to yeah, camping. It's gonna be my first time. It's gonna be quite easy, I think. It's not a big deal, I think. Camping in Australia mm. is much harder in a way How uh, so? I guess the camping regulation is not as bad but you have to watch out for a lot more things in Australia <laughs> yeah. uh, I can imagine so you guys yeah. I heard recently that Floridians are like America's version of Aussies because you know we deal but with not the even big snakes close. and the big spiders even, but it's, it's not, not even, even close. close no no it's not no. even close we just try. even today there was a some sort of flying insect that came into the share house and everyone was panicking and I'm just like just just slap (laughs) it back outside you know just it's okay like it's not gonna kill you our thinking is just like if there's a bug if it's not gonna kill you it's just fine you just leave it alone and I'll just let it go back outside and things like that and Mm. of course if it's gonna kill you then you have to think about it a bit more but if it's not gonna kill you you just don't have to panic and of course for example cockroaches it's not gonna kill you you know yeah. especially in Australia, no. where i used to live cockroaches used to well can fly and mm-hmm. fly a lot so um yeah yeah the the palmetto bugs we have in florida are huge ass cockroaches and yeah 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 they fly and they you can't kill them <laughs> You just cohabitate with them as yeah, best you and, can. Uh, I don't like using bug spray because then uh, they go crazy and uh, they mm, are yeah. uncontrollable. Usually if you don't spray it and you can kind of catch it slowly with like mm. some sort of tissue or a glove or something like that or smack it with a shoe or something. But if you yeah, but spray if you smack it with, it with a shoe, it just makes the ass spread out and then... <laughs> Suck back up together <laughs> <and die. laughs> but if you spray it, yeah. spray it with bug spray and then it goes crazy and then you can't ever catch it and then no, uh, no. that's why it's difficult so I never used bug spray for like those big mm. insects well and also you're putting that in your own environment and uh, possibly consuming some of it so best not to if you can avoid oh, it's it it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying no. to be environmentally friendly here. Okay. No, it's so fine. So Australia is on a whole different level. You're gonna be camping out there and not get bothered. Yeah, by it's any not of the hard. Mukade not bothered or... by. Yeah, and you're not you're not scared of anything in the water as well. Of course, in Australia, you Ooh, have to be scared okay. of in the water and out of the water. So <laughs> what do you have to be scared of in the water? Ah, lots of this. Of course. I guess rocks is one. Uh, crocodiles is another. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Just a big jump there. Uh, yeah. Mm, Florida. I mean, depends on where you are. There's usually not too many alligators at the beach, but occasionally. Uh, jellyfish. Stingrays. Gotta be careful of stingrays during that season. In a lake? Not in a lake, oh, got, though. I said the That's ocean. Ah, in the ah, ocean. Okay, okay. But occasionally yeah. we do have alligators make their way out to the ocean. It's yeah, rare. But. There's a few times where the beach has been the beach is closed for the day because they saw a crocodile in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. It can happen. Yeah. yeah, sharks. Yeah, sharks. Used to swim with sharks. Sometimes reef sharks in really? hands, but they're really small. Just 
less than a meter. I don't know how much that is that in American awesome, measurements. Actually. Uh, but That's they, they are, they are thirty feet. Okay, <laughs> but they're scared. They're usually scared of humans, so they usually run away, swim away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow! So that's a pretty cool experience. I would love to go to Australia. It's on my bucket list of things to do. Yeah, of course. From Japan, it's really easy. It's just have to Is wait it? until next year. Yeah. yeah. Narita to Cairns or Gold Coast, and yeah, uh, straight flight probably about eight, seven to eight hours. Um, and then if you go during the cheap time, it's what is it? Your Mayan, around four hundred yeah, US you dollars said before, return. It's unbelievably trip. Yeah, round trip. <laughs> round trip. We're gonna put it into American English. Yeah. Round trip, return um, trip. Not sure where our listeners are from. Return trip, round trip. Wow. Um, yeah, I'd have. We have no idea where you're gonna be living next year, but uh, perhaps you can get a guided tour, and we'll make a special episode or, or five of Australia. <laughs> And Hokkaido connections. I don't think I'll be back in Australia anytime soon. <laughs> no. Yeah, Why maybe not? to visit, maybe to visit home, but not to live anyway. I think. Uh, Any reason? Ah, I would just like to live in other countries before I go back to Australia to, I guess, settle down. I feel like mm. Australia so you is think the last. You would settle down there. That's if I haven't found somewhere. Down. Okay. If I if I haven't found somewhere that I really enjoy, and want to live there for the rest of my life, I guess. Yeah, then I would settle down back in Australia because it's the easiest place to settle down. <laughs> yeah. Why is it the easiest place to settle down for you? I guess just salary is really good. Uh, I guess benefits in a way is good. Australia is, a, I guess, a relatively safe country in a way. Um, mm. Multicultural. I guess most of, most countries are quite multicultural now. But I, this one. S- <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think, okay. yeah. I, well, lots of people go to Australia to live there and try to live there. Um, mm-hmm. So I think it would probably just be the easiest option for me. Sure. Yeah, but so, no, no idea Hokkaido in the future. Hasn't, yeah. Hokkaido hasn't hit that spot for you yet. Effing cold. Okay, that's like, a reasonable like, excuse. <laughs> I like hoodie. I like wearing hoodies. I like wearing jackets. I don't like wearing three fucking jackets or like wearing a big ski jacket and it's still being cold and the feeling of waking up in the morning and being really really cold i just hate that so oh so you don't sleep with the heater on no because it's too i don't have money coming out of my money coming out of my house <laughs> <laughs> well I, yeah i didn't either when i first first lived here um but living in a house rather than usually an apartment, usually sleeping better. like while sleeping it's fine it's only waking up in the morning like you yeah, have to have the heater time you... you have to heat you have to get the heater time mm. for like an hour before you wake up and then it's all right yeah but... if you do if you do that right it's good but if you wake up and it's just freezing cold then it is very I do. difficult to yeah i do enjoy the, the winter especially if i'm going out skiing and doing lots of different activities but just a normal lifestyle and working and things like that it's not that good Mm. yeah yeah i mean florida slash indiana girl here uh took me not that long to get acclimated to hokkaido and i do enjoy the winter but if i did ski or snowboard or any kind of winter outdoor activity i think it would make life here a lot more fun and i just haven't found the right access i'm just surprised that you haven't done it you would well, think I that did, would be the, um, the one of the first things to do here. You would think so, but that's not why I came, you know. Um, I right. came for work and other reasons, and I play instruments, so there always is that bit of a fear that, as clumsy as I am, 
<laughs> I could easily break a wrist or something. Could play guitar while skiing left. down the mountain. <laughs> yeah, oh, that could be something new to try for a music video. I had a lot of fun skiing in、uh, Niseko two winters back、uh, for the airport video. Was it last winter?、Uh, yeah, two winters back.、Um, yeah. Had a really nice instructor. Learning pre previously, I learned the basics from someone local, and while I did figure out how to like stand up and sit down and all that, you know, hanoji stuff for Japanese or the pizza wedge, the style here culturally, I find with most people, is to be like, "Sore wa dame, sore wa dame," like you're doing that wrong, you're doing that wrong, instead of more encouraging, like positive reinforcement, which just didn't work so well for me. But when I had a Instructor from the Netherlands, it was really encouraging and made me feel like, yeah, we're supposed to have fun doing this, and I'm actually doing really good. And、um, I felt quite successful out、That's、on the. It's too、books. serious.、Mm. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you're there just for fun, and you're not、serious. you're not there to become a professional skier or snowboarder. You know, you're just there so you can just go down the mountain without killing yourself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I did that. I did that a couple times. And、uh, had a really good time, and felt like I would like to join a ski club or school or something to get enough confidence to go out on my own. But、uh, I'm not there yet. So hey, anybody local who wants to go skiing with me this coming winter,、uh, would look. I would like to have some ski partners who can just make sure I come home in one piece. <laughs> yeah, skiing with friends is very very fun. Very very fun. Yeah, But you know、definitely. the lift tickets are not not exactly cheap things, are they? Japan is cheap, man. Japan is, is very very cheap. Yeah. Okay, very, very I don't、cheap. have anywhere else to compare to. So you're comparing to Australia then? Australia doesn't、Or、have any. <laughs> <laughs> no, But they okay, do. They do. They, they do. But it's man-made snow.、Mm. Yeah. So New Zealand. So where is expensive? New Zealand, Switzerland,、uh, a few places in America, I guess, are like up in Colorado and things like that.、Mm, But、yeah. I would say、J、Japan is the cheapest. I would, number、really? one, like most expensive, is Swiss, Switzerland. Switzerland is effing crazy expensive.、Uh, you can spend maybe less than Ichimayen for the whole day for rental and ski pass. For a lot of the local Hokkaido yeah,、so. areas, but right, in... Ichiman, it's about a hundred US dollars. Yeah, it's so, really really cheap. Yeah, that does sound accurate. I guess, yeah, if you're going on a like ski vacation, then that really does sound cheap. But if you're just trying to go for the day locally,、um, it's still cheap. You know, it, there are, I guess, I guess you're right. I just always thought it was kind of expensive. <laughs> New Zealand, I would say New Zealand、uh, compared about... to other activities.、Mm. I think New Zealand's about two to three hundred dollars,、uh, quite up there. And Switzerland would be probably a bit more than that. So, but the mountains—I、mm, wow. would say the mountains in Switzerland are very, very, very beautiful. So, and very, very、that? high compared to. Oh, I worked with many, many people from France, from Germany, from Spain, from Italy. And they've all been to the Alps, so okay. In between those areas, and but the mountains over there can get up to like three thousand meters, which is crazy high、mm. compared to a lot of the、sure. Hokkaido mountains, which is only like one thousand five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say it's amazing. I guess it's beautiful everywhere, but、um, the、mm. costs I would say in Japan it's quite cheap. Oh, I mean, cheaper so, than other places.、Mm. Which ski slopes have you been to in Hokkaido? A few. So I went to, of course, Kiroro. So all the slopes around there.、Um, what is it?、Uh, so Rusutsu. I went there.、Uh, when was it? End of December, I think. A few mates. I also went to. I forgot the name.、Uh, there's another one, very very close, locally, just called a bus ride. 
Bangke? An- no. Uh, a bangke, yeah, yeah, bangke, bangke. Do you know bangke? Did you just say that? <laughs> I said bangke, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bangke, yeah. And I've been、That's、to Nisako. That's my favorite s o p in Sapporo. Very, very short, but it's all right. It's a good local、mm-hmm. place. I do recommend k i r o r o k i r o r o has really, really nice slopes. And、uh, yeah. uh, the highest slope, and you go down. If you go full speed, it still takes about、uh, five minutes. So if you're a beginner, it would probably take 30 minutes all the way down to get <laughs> down. So it's quite a big mountain over there, and there's quite a few. Different paths, and some of those paths are quite hard, and which is good for me. And I usually go through the trees actually, go off p i s t e so really, really good in Kiroro. And you can do backcountry there, which in other mountains you probably can't. Yeah, they do have restrictions in certain、yeah. areas where you can and can't do. Backcountry style. So please do make sure to check the regulations and the safety precautions when you go off on your own. I have a friend here who、uh, I think is more into snowboarding, but like really backcountry style. And、uh, he always carries one of those inflatable emergency red balloon kind of things in case of、yeah. an avalanche because he、yeah. was caught in an avalanche once. So.、Okay. <laughs> Um, you want to be aware, you do not want to have to be air evacuated <laughs> out of some place. Let's just say I didn't have、it. one of those when I went back country. But of course, you need the minimum equipment of like having the GPS and having a, a few different equipment. I don't think that is necessary, but it is a good thing to have, I guess. But I've only been back country twice once in Kiroro and once in Nagano. Uh, mountain called Shiga Koge.、Mm. Went a little bit back country there and it was really, really nice. Both places really, really nice. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Can I have but... just one second, please? Yeah, sure. If you're looking for original content on Hokkaido, you need to check out Harlow Amanda's Instagram account. This long term resident and local tour guide knows the ins and outs of the island like nobody else. We especially love that she was one of the first visitors to the National Ainu Museum and Park in Shiraoi. Here's an excerpt for one of her posts Good themes emerge from the new National Ainu Museum and Park, Hokkaido. While displays include the expected bark grass clothing and images of wood carving or bear hunting fishing, I was moved by the modern day Ainu profiles that should remind us. This indigenous people heritage is not a lost past shown in a museum cabinet. A chef, an office worker, or farmer may not be the traditional image of Ainu, but their stories of identity are so important. Even the profile words of a guy who says there is little in his life connected to Ainu. I appreciated the museum creators for including him, and him for agreeing to have his photo and name used. Many, many Japanese either know nothing of being Ainu or hide it. This museum is actually quite good at telling stories of Ainu across the generations. Artists, leaders, carers, hunters, campaigners, linguists, people. Thank you, Amanda Harlow, for your contribution to Hokkaido's community, and thank you for everyone who has made this Upopoi National Ainu Museum and Park a reality. <laughs> uh, anyway, but going back to, I guess, weather in particular. So, quite a few places in Japan are getting hit by really, really heavy rain.、Uh, Sapporo got quite a bit of rain a few days ago, actually, but not as bad as places like Gifu, places like Kyushu. They're getting hit with、yeah. uh, quite a bit of rain, I think. Torrential one... rains, yeah. Yep, yep. So、Flooding. the winter, no, we're not winter, wet season is here.、Uh, rainy season. They always, people ask us in Hokkaido, like, oh, do you have a rainy season? And we really don't. No. Yay. So one more point for Hokkaido living there's no rainy season.、Uh, it does seem to always rain quite a lot during the Obon holiday in August. <laughs> I don't、mm. know why, but really, it, it's. 
beautiful weather this season. Not as bad, yeah.、Mm. But yeah. yeah, I think、uh, well, my father lives in Fukuoka, so they received what is it, three hundred to three hundred fifty millimeters of rain overnight.、Mm. Uh, I heard places in Gifu. 150 to 200 millimeters of rain in a few hours, so crazy.、Mm. Uh, quite a few places have been evacuated for that. So,、uh, wish、yeah. them all the best there. And for sure,、uh, for sure. going back to just、uh, local Hokkaido things,、uh, as a person that is a fan of esports. So, Delena, do you know what esports is? Are those like what electronic sports or <laughs> online sports? Yep, online sports. Yeah. So, actually, I, I can say I've never participated、uh, firsthand, but I do know what they are. No,、That's、I've never, I've never even participated、oh. in esports before. But、um, I am a fan of a few games、uh, through esports.、Okay. Tell us more. And and there's a Hokkaido team that won an esports event recently. Um, a few different esports games, such as、uh, what is it, Street Fighter? Do you know Street Fighter? No. Fighting game. It's just like a one one v one combat fighting game.、Uh, do you know Go? Go. Yes, it's like、as、a in, board like, game. The board game. Yeah, yeah, the black and white stone traditional yeah, Japanese yeah, yeah. board game. A bit not like a, it looks like a cello, but strategy is completely different. Yeah, very challenging, more like chess or shogi,、yeah, uh, yeah, as far、yeah. as that Intel-、yeah. intellectual level of play. Yeah, okay. Go. So an e go. Go and a few different card games, but I'm not exactly sure about this one because this is quite、uh, Japanese or Asian culture, which I'm not really that big into.、Mm-hmm. I'm more into like the America side of esports, I guess. With very、okay. famous games like shooting games and other、uh, role-playing games and things like that, so just just shout it so out are there. You a, a gamer? Hokkaido team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say so.、Um, not really. I would say like a what is a heavy gamer. What would you, what would you say like a crazy game or anything like that? But are you I, are you otaku level? No, it's it's different because otaku level gamer is more like they love those anime games, but I don't play any、mm. of those games.、Um, I play a lot more. What was it? Shooting games or strategy games, like war strategy games and things like that, and sometimes car racing games,、mm. for example. So, my father is a gamer, so I、okay. actually became a ga- gamer because of my father, actually. Uh, he used to、oh, play、wow. games, and I used to watch. So, and then I remember he used to work for Sony, and he used to tell me stories about after work. All the coworkers used to play the PlayStation One at the company,、mm. and then I remember、oh, wow. having a PlayStation Two at my house when I was in elementary school.、Uh, I remember receiving a N- Nintendo DS. Do you know? <laughs> Yeah,、um, they were all the rage. <laughs> yeah,、uh, when I was in elementary、sure. school, and now everything is on computer now for me. Anyway, right. Yeah.、And、what is your, your like? Your yeah. I was gonna say, what's your favorite game to be playing? What、uh, do you recommend? What do I recommend? A game? Well, yeah, for anyone. What do you spend the most time on? For you,、uh, well, just tell us. The problem you, is the problem、do? is the the game that I spend the most time on is not my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work?、Uh, it's a love hate relationship with this game. It's a, <laughs> okay. It's an online game. Ga- I'm pretty sure I've uninstalled this game five more than five times, but I've reinstalled it because I just had to get back into this game. Hmm.、Mm, yeah.、Uh, but. Uh, I would say one of my favorite games. It's one of my favorite games. It's called Ryuga Gotok. Do you know? It's a Japanese Ryuga game. Ryuga Gotok. Obviously, it's a Japanese game, but no, I don't know that game. <laughs> it's a Yakuza game, game, actually. Yakuza game. Aha. Interesting.、Yeah. 
quite a few famous actors that have uh what is it have animated their voices themselves too. well let their mm-hmm. voice of course they have what is a voice actors as well but they have them animated themselves into the game oh as okay, different characters so as actually... well actually wow yeah. that's kind of cool and the story really is cool, really story is really really good uh just a single player game you can play it on playstation or uh, pc uh okay. i do it's quite a little bit violent and of course mm-hmm. it's about yakuza so well yeah the yakuza yes, stories and things violent things like that and there uh, are many many yeah. of these games mm. Mm. i How don't really do com- mm. uh my oldest is currently into bio biohazard 4 and 5 ah yeah uh, quite a lot and uh before that We had some like retro games. My husband had like these consoles. Your husband um, must had, like, like Super Famicom. Games, no? Well, obviously he had a lot of consoles, so uh he has, but I haven't seen him play much in a long time. For a while. Uh-huh. Occasionally with the kids. But yeah. like um, Samurai Spirits, really old retro game. No on idea. Very very retro. It, it reminds me a little bit of like that Shoryukan, <laughs> whatever that okay. like old style video game is like 2D style. Um, mm. I avoided it for a very very long time, but my kids begged me to play Minecraft for the longest time, and so I got hooked. Into Great that. games. Yeah, actually, I do admire. I like Minecraft for the. Uh, That's an amazing game. It's so simple, but. Minecraft is the was the biggest game of all time. Seems to be. That's um, the I think I the most sold game like all time. Mode. Yeah, I yeah, used yeah. to prefer creative mode just to have fun and not worry about the zombies and things, but now I really prefer survival where you just start from scratch. Creative's boring. To, like, <laughs> yeah, it does get boring after a while after you spend like 100 hours on it. <laughs> um I I can say I have stayed up all night long building a castle all by myself even after the kids went to bed so i have a slightly addictive nature i'm aware of this i try to either get it all out in quick succession and then just be done with it okay or you know just not let That, it take over the problem over. is minecraft I, is dangerous because you can do so much so well, so much stuff right. so many things so you can't yeah. just be over and, and done and in japanese know? it's uh, yeah and it's minecraft in japanese yeah minecraft my minecraft though but the nickname Mine- is minecraft uh, minecraft yeah uh i don't play on like the computer or the tv i just usually do like uh smartphone games so i was ah. a bit addicted to candy crush <laughs> for a while <laughs> i think i got like into the 300 levels or something and oh, farmville was like okay. a facebook related game yeah. a while back i used to play I just those games to avoid them but... now for me yeah, yeah smartphone just, games is not very sucks. fun yeah mm. yeah not a big fan i did of do the games. entire back to the future uh role playing like online version game that was really cool okay interesting uh i would yeah. say the most played smartphone game would be plants versus zombies do you know i have heard somebody else talk that's about big, that recently a, and of course i've seen game. it advertised Have you played it? Yeah, 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 I've played all of them. That so one's a really good? good game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like sort of like the strategy style of game and it's like a mm. sort of that sort of game. So, but I remember playing this when I was in junior high school. Mhm. So, 6 to 7 years ago. I remember playing yeah. this game. Yeah. So, it's still really popular, but Uh, it came out quite mm-hmm. a while ago same as Minecraft i remember playing this while i was in junior yeah. high school as well so uh your boys playing minecraft now before it was not like that at all it was so so much simpler <laughs> oh sure yeah every every few days it feels like my kids are updating me that there's an update now you can actually move your shoulders and stuff or <laughs> Like so I think it's probably advanced quite a lot in the months that I haven't played it. 
And I finally did uninstall it from my phone because I've been using my phone heavily to edit podcasts uh. and uh, do other projects, and I needed the space. And I, I hated to say goodbye to some of those worlds that I spent probably hundreds、oh. of hours making with my kids. But wow, you got to move on at some time. So yeah, and it had been a long time since I'd logged in, so no big deal. But okay, so、um, as we approach the end of this one on one. Special episode of anything goes Hokkaido. Anything else particularly pertinent in the news or in the know? Ah,、uh, yeah. I think it's good for now. I think、uh, people should try and celebrate, or celebrate, take time off and go out and do、oh. something during the summer. But、sure. uh, even recently, now Tokyo is getting more coronavirus cases. I think up crazy, to two hundred and sixty cases or something like that in in a day or two. Yeah,、so. and like Florida and America is absolutely insane. It seems like so. People,、okay. please do continue to be safe, even though it feels like you can relax in some ways.、Um, do try to keep your social distance.、Um, be aware of washing your hands and all that wonderful stuff. Wear masks in public if you can, but. There are lots of great places to go outdoors,、uh, camping. I know there's a Tamakomai campsite that is currently open.、Uh, a bit more, not all the way to eastern Hokkaido, but about four and a half hours from Sapporo. There's another beachside camp site that I can put up on the links that has like an outdoor onsen.、Uh, was recommended by a friend lately, so I'm hoping to start camping a bit. Really want to go to Lake Shikotsu, which is your plan in another week. Probably. I wonder if Josanke, which is a bit closer, technically still in Sapporo, but it really feels like another city or town、mm. <laughs> because of the distance、um, and the nature between Sapporo Central and Josanke.、Uh, I wonder if their campgrounds are currently open or not.、You、can check into that. I feel like when you like go camping. Okay. I feel like when you go camping, you want to go somewhere like far away. You know. I feel like somewhere like Josanke is too close. Like. It doesn't feel like you're going really outdoors camping in a way. That's what、But、I feel like. I went there once, and the、It、campsite、right. it itself、good. felt, yeah, completely like you were. Could have been five hours from Sapporo or just one. So I think、okay. it just depends on the. Even that's what I feel like with Shikotsuko. Even Shikotsuko is quite close. I would say so. I feel like it is. It's about an hour drive、hmm. from. My place.、Um, so I feel like when I go camping,、uh, yeah, I feel like I want to go camping like really, really far away in the middle of nowhere. You know, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> well, I if you really want to do that、uh, for our listeners and watchers, don't forget that Hokkaido Nature Tours is offering、mm. special discounts for local Japanese residents.、Uh, if you would like to get in on a guided tour and have the Luxury of being chauffeured around、uh, and have everything kind of taken care for you. If you have the money to do that, they are offering 10% discounts. Last time I heard, but please check their website to make sure what's going on. Also,、um, we'll put up a link for this special Act Now Japan place.、Um, it's all in Japanese. It looks like you can always use Google Translate to help yourself navigate around if that's not your thing.、Um, but the August drive-in fireworks thing looks really cool to me, so I'm gonna see if I can sign up for that. And、uh, hopefully、too. we can、hmm. get, get. Yeah, well, maybe we could、um, go jointly or something. Yeah, yeah sounds good. Video. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan.、Sounds、well, everybody,、good. thank you for listening to this、uh, special update. We really appreciate your patronage,、uh, just by listening, but also. Our Patreon.com/slash/AnythingGoesHokkaido account is up and running. We would love your support for just some of the little things that come with running a podcast, like the Podbean fees and all the other little excursions. Like,、uh, especially、mm. if you'd like to front the bill for us going to support the drive-in, it looks like it's five thousand yen to get the tickets for that. But it、Expensive. should be quite incredible. <laughs> little, little bits. Um, they have a. They usually have a really incredible fireworks festival in the outdoor dome, 
um, in like Makomane area mm-hmm. park, I think. Yep. Arena. Um, I got tickets. Like my friends called me. I was like, "Hey, we we can't go. It's today. Can you leave like now?" And uh, I was just used to thinking that there'd be parking available, but of course, at a big event like that, there wasn't any parking close by. So by the time I parked my car and my kids and I walked to the arena, we walked into the arena. The like a minute after the last firework went off, <laughs> we got to enjoy watching them on the way, which was really incredible. Um, but yeah, that's also a pricey ticket. Of course,、oh. I think all those kinds of events are currently canceled for this、mm. year. But yeah, if they're having drive-in events, by all means, I think we should go. All right, everyone, thank you. We will be back next week with a new episode. And we really hope you're enjoying the summer. If you are in Hokkaido and you would like to be a guest, or you have some video or some photos from your camping trips or restaurants, any local places you would like to share with us, or if you happen to be a business owner and would like us to promote your business, we are all ears. Please send us a message at anythinggoeshokkaido@gmail.com, or you can contact us, of course, through Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, it's a little iffy,、um, even though we do have a small presence there.、Uh, ga- same hashtag, same handle. Anything goes Hokkaido. Also, you can get me, Delena Miyazaki, on Instagram, and Facebook, and、uh, Shinta is Instagram a bowl <laughs> at Shinta underscore Grams with an S. All right, that's it for this episode. Everybody, take care, and remember one、yep. last, one last, one last announcement. The Upopoi Museum is set to open this month.、Uh, I believe on the seventeenth of July.、Okay. So this episode may or may not have aired by then. But if you get the chance to go see the Upopoi Ainu yeah, yeah, Museum, yeah. by all means go. And you can probably hear my voice if you take JR at the special、oh. uh, exit for that. And you can also, if you sit in the theater at Upopoi, when you hear the English announcements asking you to please turn off your cell phone, etc., that would also be yours truly. So、oh. <laughs> keep your eyes out. <laughs> All right. Nice. Thank you. Just thank you. <laughs> Ciao. As always, we give a huge thank you to everyone who makes this podcast possible, especially our viewers and listeners. Thank you so much. If you would like to be on the show, please contact us at anythinggoeshokkaido at gmail dot com, and be sure to check out our Patreon campaign and see what special goodies wait you there. I'll have to put something up, actually. <laughs> okay, guys, you hang in there tight. We're gonna get through this, and see you next week.